Hello and welcome to the NBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Sonal Sanzo, and we got well, a review for you this week. In today's review episode, we are going to review Season 1 of Pony Life Episode 23. Uh, we are going to review the Pi vs. Pi and Superb 6 episode. Uh, in the Pi vs. Pi episode or segment, Pinkie Pie finds herself in a cupcake contest with her oldest rival, her brother, Octavio. And in Superb 6, the main six serve up lifestyle tips and beauty tricks. When Snip and Snail comes to them for help. <clears throat> so before we head into the review, first impressions are in order. And uh, my impressions for Pi vs. Pi. Um, what? Uh, when? Wh how? When? Why? What? <laughs> um, when did this happen? How? I, I'm at a loss. Like, I, okay. I knew that Pinky had quote unquote a brother whatnot because um, one of you guys uh, in the Patreons told me about it a long time ago, and it was kind of like okay, yeah, um, didn't really go. I I tried to find it, but I couldn't. So I was like, oh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, I I'll just wait until I review the episode and whatnot, and yeah, I'm doing it now. So I'm pretty shocked. Because um, with Pinky, I know she's a twin uh, with Marble. And Marble, was it? Marble Pie or Limestone? I forgot. No, um, I think it's Marble. So anyway, um, I'm just surprised that Pinky was a twin. And... The contrast between her and Marble was kind of night and day, but it does make sense. But with um, Octavio, it oh man, there is so many questions. So anywho, um, let's review Pi vs. Pi before I give my first impressions of the Superb 6. <clears throat> so anyway, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So we start off the episode with Pinky creating a new dessert, a very fanciful dessert, and she calls it the uh, Doka Pop. Doka Pop, yes, Doka Pop. It is a combination of a donut cupcake lollipop kind of dessert. So it's very sugary, it's very sweet and Twilight was the first one to try it out and she is addicted to it she tries she was at first she was uh, trepidatious um, kind of putting up her guard because she, the dessert such a dessert sounds bad but she took a bite out of it and enjoyed the whole thing and couldn't stop eating it throughout the episode so Yay, um, Twilight is addicted to said uh, dessert. Then Applejack barges in, telling the group that, hey, uh, there's a new star out there handing out free desserts. And um, Pinkie Pie goes and looks and discovers that, oh, uh, who is this new competitor to my uh, business and whatnot? <clears throat> and we got to see the Hipster, Recolor, Fluttershy, prom kind of promoting the store. And Fluttershy is, sorry, uh, Pinkie Pie is a bit um, wary because there's competition in town. Suddenly, um, there is a pony with a purple alligator at the front door. And Pinkie Pie introduces them to uh, her greatest rival, and also brother Octavio. Now, 
if you were to tell me that if this is Octavia's brother, I would have believed you because Octavia and Octavio, yes, makes sense. But, oh man, um, being a pie, <coughs> yep. So, Octavio introduces himself to Twilight and Applejack, saying that uh, baking is his game, but in all honesty, it's buckball, but they're not playing buckball, so whatever. Um, so, just being friendly and whatnot, and uh, <laughs> uh, kind of um, trying to catch up with Pinky, but Pinky's not really buying into it and whatnot. And yeah, they they kind of squabble a bit, <laughs> and uh, they do a friendly what, uh, a friendly competition which is a bake off where uh, they see who has the best sales in terms of dessert and whatnot. Uh, Pinky accepts because she has confidence in her new dessert, the what was it called? Do cup pop, do cup pop, do cup pop. Yes. So, she has full confidence in her Doko Pops. So, the next day, when they have that friendly banter, uh, not really banter, but uh, the next day, when... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember this. Okay, <clears throat> next day, Pinkie Pie walks into town. And, you know, just walking around, trying to go to wherever she's going. Um, she hears a sound and it is a promo for Octavio's shop. And he is introducing a new dessert, which is called the... Oh boy, let's see if I can find it on the wiki. <clears throat> Uh, load up nut. Load up nut. Essentially, it is a copy of Pinkie Pie's dessert, but in a different combination. So it starts out with a cupcake donut lollipop with a cherry on top, and it sells like gangbusters because all of the citizens of I'm guessing Ponyville uh, are enjoying it a lot. Pinky confronts Octavio and um, kind of uh, calls him out on copying his, sorry, copying her dessert. And Pinky gets furious and I think this is the part where he, sorry, she challenged her to a bake-off and whatnot. So, they kind of do, um, they open stalls opposite of each other, they have life bars at the top, and they kind of promote their product. So, um, Pinkie Pie starts off with, okay, my dessert is the original, don't do the copy. Octavio says something like, oh yeah, uh, mine has three sprinkles. Pinkie Pie says, I'm sorry, um, yeah, Pinkie Pie says unlimited sprinkles. Octavio says two for the price of one. Pinkie Pie says three for the price of one. And Octavio, oh my god. This is just a cluster. So they kind of <coughs> argue back and forward. And Pinkie Pie, sorry, uh, Twilight and Applejack just comes in and just says, Guys, you should stop fighting. Um, <clears throat> oh, man. Applejack says that... Couldn't you see that Octavio is... Uh, the reason why Octavio is copying you because he admires you. And Twilight just says, uh, you're the best and... It's, oh, man. This, this is one of those things where I wish I remember. But uh, in the end... <laughs> They compromise and open up a store together, creating a very interesting dessert. And yeah, uh, they kind of make up and make awesome desserts, which Twilight keeps eating. Yay. So <clears throat> that was interesting. Oh, man, I'm all over the place. But anywho, uh, let's move on to uh, the Superb 6. 
So, uh, first impressions of Superb 6 is... Ah, that was interesting. It's interesting because um, we get to hear... <laughs> Uh, the uh, how to say we get to hear Snips and Steals back. Like it's been a while since we got them, and Snips. Let's see. Uh, I I'm hoping that there's no change. Oh no. Okay, <clears throat> no wonder. Okay, j just to inform you, um, Snips. Uh, voice actor for Pony Life is no longer the Tokar. Uh, it's Ian Hanlin. So, no wonder there's a discrepancy there. But for... Uh, what you call this? For Snails, he's still the same. Richard Ian Cox. I'm trying to see here. Uh, nope, he still kept the role till this day. Um, fun facts, honestly. So anyway, um, with the superb six, it's one of those episodes where it's in. Uh, you kind of see the moral a mile away, and you're just in it for the ride. I'm not gonna go in depth into talking about it because it's one of those things where, if I'm already talking about it, I'm kind of giving you my final thoughts. <clears throat> but anyway, let's jump into this one so the superb six um pinkie pie gathers the girl around and tells them that snips and snails have asked for the soup uh, the main six or in this case the superb six for their guidance to uh to for for their guidance to attend the what you call this um Meet and gallop, an upcoming high society party. <laughs> and the girls are excited to help Snips and Snails. I'm just going to call them the boys. So uh, they're excited to help the boys in attending and trying to give a good impression of themselves. And Pinkie Pie seems to be leading the charge on this one. So she tasks Twilight and Rarity for fashion and Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash for dance and herself and Applejack will be in charge of the dessert so what I'm leaving out is um, the gala or the ball is a meet and greet where um, the creme de la creme cream of the crop whatever it is kind of gather and socialize uh, you're supposed to be expected to dress well, to learn to cut a rug, and also bring dessert. I got no idea why, but I guess they do? I mean, if you really think about it, it's kind of a potluck, and potlucks are fun. And having... The social be something like that, kind of cool. Kind of cool, I think. I mean, it's it feels awesome in that sense. But anywho, yes. Um, this is what they're expected to do, and the superb six are going to help them with that. So we start off with well, the boys coming to. I'm guessing, Carousel Boutique because doesn't really portrays carousel but a mess of a place so anywho the boys comes in rarity says that okay you guys um i'm going to help you guys dress well and i'm what i'm seeing is that you guys need something like this twilight comes in and says by my calculations um, snails, you need to wear a bow tie, and snips, you need to wear a top hat. Yes, and she does, and they look kind of okay. Yes, um, snips and snails don't really feel it, and yeah, I mean, they look good, but still, um, they kind of accept it. Why not? So yeah, they carry on to the next part of the 
I won't say makeover, but more of the help, uh, the dancing. So they go to uh, Snowflake Studio Gym, and they meet up with Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. They kind of learn how um, how to cut the rug, and they show their move to Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, and they say, "I oh, know, guys. Like, nah, man." Your dance moves, while aggressive, doesn't seem to be the right touch for the event. I think you should do things this way because it would be much better. So they kind of emulate uh, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. And yeah, I mean, they try their best. They try their best. <clears throat> and next up is the... Dessert. So they head into Sugar View Corner where they meet up with Pinkie Pie and Applejack and they help them with making apple pies. Um, the boys kind of want to do something with cheese in a can. That What do you call it? Cheese Whiz? Something like that. So they, they want to work with something like that but... Uh, the boys are the, the sorry. Um, Applejack and Pinkie Pie says, Applejack, and Pinkie, yes, uh, says no because that would be a disaster. And the girls just say, "Do what, do, do what we are doing. Uh, at this, do that." And in the end, uh, they make an apple pie. So on the night of the gala, the girls are excited because hey, um, our hard work and whatnot. Let's see how it goes. And we see the boys walk onto the red carpet, not feeling like themselves and kind of looking miserable. Pinkie Pie noticed this and saying that, okay, uh, we need to undo what we did and fix it because they need to be themselves and whatnot. So uh, they reverse the process and they're kind of feeling natural and yeah, they're, they're being themselves. They're being themselves. And with that, they, <laughs> they everybody dance, and episode ends. Oh, boys! <clears throat> so let's go for final thoughts. Uh, for Pie versus Pie, um, it was a very interesting episode where it's uh, how do I put it? It's a very interesting episode where it tackles handling. Uh, you know, admiring someone and trying to emulate them, yet trying their best to kind of be their own kind of thing. I, I, you know, in all honesty, the more I think about it, it's uh, the oh, what you call this, the Rainbow Dash birthday where Pinkie Pie and Where Al kind of combo also off. That one's much done better because it had Weird Al. <clears throat> and also it was, what, 22 minutes? With worth of stories that it has. But with this one, it felt kind of flat, honestly. Like, honestly, with this one, it feels like it was kind of a rush job because everything's, like, moving too fast, moving so practically and the introduction of Pinkie Pie's brother out of nowhere that that one was like wait what Pinkie Pie has a brother and if you think about it like a while back when we did the review we had an episode where Pinkie Pie was talking about she had a brother but somehow kind of missing because he was gone and they were kind of referring to Hansel and Gretel but now here he is and they're kind of rivals and whatnot I mean uh, Silver told me that we should treat Pony Life's canon as its own but at the same time too you have to wonder is Pony Life its own thing or is it part of the G4 canon and whatnot so, it's one of those things where it's a head-scratcher. It's a head-scratcher. 
But overall, the episode was okay. <clears throat> so for the superb six, this one I mentioned before. This one was an episode where just be yourself. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever it is. If you if you're happy doing the thing that you were doing, as long as it's not hurting anyone, that's a okay. But the thing is, uh, with this one, it's a matter of opinion, really, because the the boys, uh, Snippet and Snails, ask for Pinkie Pie's help to kind of give them a makeover slash guidance or whatever it is, and they're not feeling like themselves because they feel like, oh, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm changing or I. I've changed because somebody told me to do this, so whatnot. But you kind of asked for it. Like, you, you kind of went up to, uh, not really went up to, but you kind of asked for Pinky's assistant in this matter. Like, uh, Pinky Pie, could you help me with this thing that I'll be attending? I want to look my best because last year was a disaster for me and whatnot. So... <sighs> It's one of those things where I personally think that the moral of the story was in the right place, or it it it's hard what I'm sorry, its heart was in the right place, but the starting story, the overarching story, was not there. And in all honesty, I'm thinking. Is there a G4 episode that's similar to this? Can't think of it right now, but... <clears throat> but it's one of those things where... Yeah, I mean... In all honesty... I feel like... This one could have been... Worded better. Um, it, I, I think there... Yes, uh, I remember. This is the... Cutie Mark Crusaders with the Derby Racers. Yes. The girls ask for help with doing the carts, but the grown up, which was Apple Jack Rarity and Rainbow Dash, kind of went overboard and tried to take over the project. It is, um, I know it doesn't feel the same, but it has the same tone, uh, and that I mean. Kids asking adults for help, and adults going overboard with the project. Uh, in this one here, it feels like snips and snails got no idea what they're doing, and they're asking for help from the adults. And I don't know. I mean, with with this one, it didn't seem like snips and snails had something in mind that they want to kind of. Contribute like or they they don't have a general idea of what to do except for the pie because they want to use cheese whiz. That's what I remember. That's what they call cheese whiz. So they want to use cheese whiz, but it it. <laughs> but that's the only thing that kind of presents itself with the derby racers. Um, you have the girls wanting to try something new with. Ooh, Sweetie Bell is trying to go for speed while um, Scootaloo going for a more traditional look and Apple Bloom going for a more modern aesthetic. So it's one of those things where the girls had something that they want to try and pull off, but the adults say, no, you have to do it my way. And in the end, I kind of ruin it for the girls. But with this one, yeah, I, I'm not getting that feeling. I'm not getting that, um, what you call this? I, I'm not getting that, um, that emotion of, I want to do things my way, but I just need an adult's guidance. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I feel like I'm just going in circles with this one. So in the end, um. <clears throat> Episode was fine. It, it was fine. It was, it was not as 
bad as the earlier episodes where they're trying to find their tempo. And I, I, my prediction for the rest of the season and also going to season two is that all of the episodes are going to be a moderate five out of ten to a ten out of ten, depending on certain episodes, certain um, morals and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, is to me personally, I feel like it's going to be that way. And who knows? I, I might be wrong. There are some stinkers probably. But hey, um, I haven't watched till the future episodes because I'm doing this as we are recording. Um, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Uh, I've noticed that if I kept on going after episode after episode, watching them in a row, whatever it is, I tend to forget what I've watched. And in this scenario here, it's proven that even after watching the episode, I don't remember a thing. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, um, that's the review for this week. So yeah, let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, sorry, uh, <coughs> uh, and also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrimitiveLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, You'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And I got a message on my phone. Um, it's telling me that Master of Lag sent you a message on the Patreons. <laughs> so if you would like to join the exclusive Patreon clubs, uh, go support us on the Patreon. Um, you can send me messages. You can chat with me there if you want. And you know, it's a fun place. Like if if you want to get early access to reviews and discussion podcasts, it's all there. If you want to have a long conversation with me, it's also there too. Yay! So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun review. I'll, guys, I'll catch you guys next week. See ya!